Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. Today we've got a good one for you. We're going to talk about a new rig that has hit the market that looks kind of ridiculous, but is catching big fish all over the place. And you probably haven't heard of it before. So we're going to touch base on this. I want to share this with you because it's a good one, guys. It really has a lot of motion in the water. It's completely different than things that you've seen on the market before. And we're going to get into that. Before I do, I do want to remind you, though, that if you want to support the channel, please use my Tackle Warehouse affiliate link to make your tackle purchases. I'll put that link in the video description. And heck, guys, you can also bookmark it for future purchases as well, so you don't have to worry about that in the future. Also, if you're looking for more content from me, check out my members only page. We uh, offer several additional videos, monthly live streams. You can have direct contact to me. So check out my members only page. And it's hopefully tips like this that keep you guys coming back to the channel. Today, we're going to talk about something that's called the pretzel rig. This is something when I first saw it, I thought that this was bogus. But I've used it now several times, and not only have I had good success fishing with it, I've seen the ability and the motion to it that gives it something different that the fish haven't seen before. And as you all know, as in the angling community, if you have something different, it seems like the fish are more willing to bite something that's new that they haven't seen before. So this is something that you're going to want to stay on top of. Basically, what this comes down to is if you take one of your bigger soft stick bait. So in this case, this is a six inch size um, Berkeley Max Scent, the general. I'm gonna pull one out for you. So you can see it's a little bit bigger than your average size five inch. You pretty much need to go with at least a six inch size or better, but you want it to be a soft stick bait where you don't have the straight, or where you have the straight tail. Because what you're gonna do with this is tie it into a pretzel, hence the name pretzel rig. So all I'm gonna do is literally tie like an overhand knot in the bait and pull out the tail. So I'm gonna pull it to create like a knot. And what you wanna do is end up with about equal quantity of uh, tag end, I guess is what you'd say. So it looks just like a pretzel, guys. This is how they make pretzels. And then at this point, you're gonna take your hook and what a lot of people are liking to do is throw a big, stout, straight shank flipping hook with this for two reasons. First, you're going to catch big fish with this, so you want to uh, throw a stout hook. The second is you need a straight shank so that this bait runs properly in the water. And what you're going to do is come down through the top and run your hook right down the middle through all three different parts of your pretzel. And then you're going to slide it up your line. So in this case, you can see I've got that through all three parts. So what that does is it's going to keep the rig connected. It will prevent it from coming undone, unknotted, and therefore you've got your pretzel rig. This is how you rig it up. From a fishing standpoint, a lot of people are throwing it on braid because you are going to get an insane amount of twist with this bait. But the action and the fish catching use is completely worth it. So I want to take you down to the water because we finally, I believe, are ice free on the river and I can show you how this bait runs. I'm going to show you why you should be throwing the pretzel rig. So let's go down to the river. Down by the river, we actually don't have ice along the shoreline so we can fish. First time all year. Nice April 1st snowstorm. This is going to drive me nuts because we still have plenty of snow on the ground, just like last year's April 1st video. But we're sharing with you the hot new pretzel rig. This is something, guys, that a lot of people are using. Uh, it is definitely popular in Japan, and it has to do with the crazy slow spiraling motion that you get out of it. It's a very, very uh, unusual motion that we don't get to see out of a lot of baits. Just a slow spiral. I can't really do uh, anything else with it other than to get that spiraling motion. I will tell you, you can let this fall to the ground. You can work it just like a jig. Uh, it has a similar appearance to the, the hot new uh, cube, the dice cube that everyone's using. And it's just something that's a little bit unique. The fish have not seen. Now, I will tell you one thing. If you're going to fish this all day, 
because of that slow motion, that slow spiraling motion that you get out of it, you probably will want to make sure uh, to carry extra line with you to make sure that you uh, can deal with all the line twists that you're gonna get. But this is something worth trying. I mean, when this thing gets on the bottom and just sits there like a pretzel, I don't know who wouldn't wanna eat that. Almost looks like a crayfish just popping around with, with those two appendages sticking off. Definitely, definitely worth your time. Worth giving a try. Something a little different that the fish haven't seen. The old pretzel rig, guys. Give it a whirl. I'm gonna head inside. It's pretty cold on this April 1st. And thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. Hopefully you realize that it's an April Fool's gag and not a rig you should try because this thing is not gonna catch them that good for you.